Almost everyone in Jolobogame was clad in red this morning, mourning the death of Wisdom Dake. Dake's death, born out of a situation locals and authorities are still trying to make sense of, led to a reprisal attack that has damaged a vehicle and parts of the assembly building. The internal audit office was the only office that was burnt, even though its windows remain intact. The regional minister, Achibald Yaolecha, who visited the community and inspected the damaged assembly office, said no stone will be left unturned in investigating the incident. We came to sympathize with the, uh, the people of Jolo on the loss of, the, of, of, their, of their son uh, to, and to plead with them to exercise patience and to talk to the young people and uh, to apologize to them for whatever has happened and to assure them that the government is going to investigate the issues. We are going to investigate the circumstances leading to the death of the young man um, uh, during uh, the, the routine revenue mobilization exercise. And we are also going to investigate the arson attack on the assembly premises like you have seen. And uh, we are also going to investigate the alleged attack on the journalists when they came yesterday to cover what, what was going on. So I, I have asked the regional police command to take over the investigations and uh, they will come to the crime scene this morning and see what has happened. The minister, who sounded unhappy about the response of the police to yesterday's event, instructed that the case be referred to the regional police command. The youth leader of Jolubogame, Tobi Sasraku Ansar III, assured the minister that the traditional leadership of the community has warned the youth of the community not to foment any more trouble. Justice must be said.